Hi, I'm Virginia Webb. My husband Carl Webb and I are the owners of Mountain Honey, and we're here in Clarksville, Georgia, where we have our flow hives here at our home bee yard. Both my husband and I, we've been lifelong beekeepers. I actually got my first beehive in 1962, and uh, it was a gift from my father. My father is a beekeeper, my grandfather was a beekeeper. We're honey producers. We run about 300 colonies of bees right now. That's a pretty small uh, commercial operation, but for a husband and wife team, that works very well for the two of us. This is new foundation that they've drawn out, and it is just totally filled with eggs and larvae. Or she may be on the next one. We're a certified Russian bee breeding operation. They are very tolerant and really resistant to the uh, deadly varroa mite that's been devastating bees. We use no chemical treatments in our hive whatsoever. And that's one of the reasons why we've chosen the Russian bee. The other good reason is, is they're very, very prolific in producing honey for both spring and summertime. We have a lot of fresh nectar in here. Oh, that's what I love to see. I discovered the Flow Hive like most people did was because there was a fabulous little video on the internet that talked about the Flow Hive. And when you first think about it, like, how would you do this? And that was what was intriguing to me. I did not know how it worked. And you have to really put it together and watch the bees in it to experience it. Sourwood is our most popular variety of honey that we produce. It's won four gold medals at the World Honey Shows for best honey in the world. And that's what we wanted to try it on, was to uh, produce the sourwood honey. Now the sourwood is blooming now, so we're still fairly early in the flow. We have another two to three weeks to go. I have to encourage people to belong to a local beekeeping club. You know, my greatest uh, beekeeping mentor was my father, and he's still keeping bees. Honeybees are so easy to keep. Rooftops, backyards, your bees are available to more botanical choices when you're in an urban setting. And like I said, it can be anywhere in the world can keep bees. I can't think of any place except maybe Antarctica that you cannot keep honeybees. Besides dirt, water, and sunshine, the next most important thing you need in order to grow food is pollination. And there's no other insect that can be managed as well as the honeybee. How cool was that? We've got lots of sweet stories coming up each week. So if you want to be up to date, hit the subscribe button below.